Hi everybody and welcome to day 16 of ICAD, also known as Index Card A Day. So I love how this card turned out. And this is wrapper from a block of cream cheese. I washed it and I dried it before I used it. But I, I love it and it embosses so beautifully. So adhere, to adhere this to the card, I use some Scotch double-sided acid-free tape. And you really have to burnish it well, like, cause I found just laying the foil on top and giving it a light rub over, it did not do the job. Like I had to get my bone folder and really rub it on and you will see that in a bit and you do still see some of the words that you see on on that foil there you do still you can still see all the measurements along the bottom and a part of the word refrigerated and some of the tiny words some of it got covered up, but if you're looking at it, you can still see a fair amount of it, which I like. I liked that it had words on it because I could have rubbed them off if I didn't like it because once I was removing, I think it was a little bit of um, paint or something, and it was taking that print off as well. So I'm showing you the embossing folders that I used. One was a Tim Holtz one, that is the dots. And then the letters is one from Carabelle. And so I'm just putting a bit of paint on the top of my finger and lightly brushing over the foil so it mostly hits the raised parts. Some does get down in the other area, but I really don't care, like this is just, you know, distressed, messy, grungy. It doesn't, it's not supposed to look perfect, right? And I think we all know me by now. I do not go for perfection. That just sucks the fun right out of it. <laughs> I just, oh, I love this card. I really do. This is the one I spoke of in the last video. I'm just cleaning off my finger before I move on to the next color. And I'm using bright aqua green, which is probably my most used and favorite paint color that I own. And I even have golden, um, teal and turquoise I believe and I still think this one is my favorite love it sorry I know you're gonna be able to hear my dog walking around hearing his nails hit the hardwood so this is cadmium yellow medium hue this is another color I tend to use a lot. I'm trying to think what other ones. Well, black, of course. Black and white. These two, oh, quinacridone magenta. I tend to use that color quite a bit as well. So this is a tag that I had made when I first got my gloss sprays and I was playing around with them trying to make nice things. So I didn't make anything with purpose other than just to play with the inks and or sprays and try to get used to them. So that black die cut that you see that is from Poppy Stamps and it's called Grand Stick Frame. 
I have no idea how old it is or if it's still available, but that is the name of it. I'm just using some white glue to glue it down and that works just fine even on top of the gloss spray and that's a bit of sari ribbon and I was fooling around with the idea of adding more to the tag like more die cuts but the more black and like I don't know adding different style die cuts just made things look too busy. So I took that other piece from the one I used on the tag and I'm gluing it down in the bottom right corner. And honestly, I can see it when I look at the card, but um, it could possibly easily get overlooked. Like it doesn't stand out much at all. But it doesn't bother me. I still love the card. <laughs> See, I fool around with it, I keep thinking, you know, I need to do more. And I knew I wanted more on the tag. So I have this old chipboard, actually it's not even chipboard, it's like real wood, but like real cheap wood. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it is like some sort of wood. And it's very easily breakable, no problem. I'm not sure where I got it. It may have just been from the dollar store. It might be from Michael's. It's old. I know that. And I'm just taking some yellow sewing thread and I just did some stitches in like three different places. Just enough to keep the word on the tag. And that's all I wanted it to look like. It was just like tacked in. Or I guess I should say tacked on. And it does move around a bit. Like often when I look at the tag, like the word has moved. So I may put a little tiny bit of glue behind a couple of the letters so it'll stay put. Like it, it's not coming off. It just moves around. Which is no big deal, but I don't know. So the only thing else that I add, like besides the sari ribbon, is a sticker from Tim Holt Small Talk and it says do what you love, love what you do. And then I take it to the sewing machine and I sew down the sari ribbon with a zigzag stitch and then I do your basic stitch two or three times around the border of the entire card. And that is it. For day 16 of ICAD and I totally love this card. <laughs> yeah, I really do. So let me know what you think and how often do you use recycled products like things that you would have tossed but thought nope I'm gonna try that for something. Let me know what's the weirdest thing that should have been trash, but you used it in crafting or art. Leave a comment down below and let me know what that is. I want to see if we get some good chuckles out of this. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.